As the sun set in the foothills this evening, schools started preparing for lights to go off. One teacher bringing the class pets home. But I don't want to leave them too long. In case of a power shutoff, families kicking their emergency plans into gear. Since last year, we've been prepared for it. Jennifer Larson dropping off her boys with her in-laws. Their school will be closed tomorrow, but she has to go to work. Getting child care taken care of is extremely accessible. And luckily, you know, if anything, I can take vacation or sick time. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to waste it on a power outage day for sure. Nicholas Birchman is going to work with his mom because dad has to work. It could last up to five days and that's five days. A lot of people are going to you know, might not be able to work. Five days worth of catastrophic event paychecks. Students torn about staying home. There's a good side and a downside because if we do, then we have to make it up during June. So this is a whole new territory for us. Superintendents who called off school say they did not make the decision lightly. It's a very difficult decision to make because we know this puts parents out. But first and foremost, we have to have our students safe. Many of our classrooms do not have adequate um, natural light to even see to have class. And Hunt is a driver and custodian for the Office of Education. It's extremely frustrating because then it's do we show up to work? Do we get paid? Do we have power? PG&E taking power over not only her schedule, but the students. She drives a special needs van for the district. Oh, it impacts the kids huge. I mean, it really they really do follow a lot of the kids really do follow a routine. Placerville Union Superintendent says this is a new era. When we put our calendars together, we're going to have to start looking at the at these type of days along with the snow days that we have on on a on a regular basis.